Howdy folks, how is everyone and how's the sound? Ooh, the sound's kind of peaking. I hope it's not peaking too much. Hopefully not. I've been spending today working on a review of a film called The Mighty Kong. It's like this animated musical that remakes the original 1933 King Kong. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's not that weird. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've mainly been doing today. What have you all been doing? Uh, so, Autistic Fan says, you don't have to read this if you don't want to. I just want to say thank you for being a damn good Twitch streamer that is uh, almost always considerate and wholesome and not being a fucking toxic streamer. Sorry for my swearing, gratuitous, mean, negative... It helps to remind me that I don't have to listen to the unfair rules a toxic streamer had. Also, if you don't like me saying these things... Like things like this, I understand and promise to keep things more chill. Uh, not just sure what to make of that, but I do try to keep these streams very wholesome and relaxed. I like my streams to be just a, a nice place for people to come to to take a breather or to forget about forget about terrible things. Just a nice, nice place. It's I'd I'd love I'd love if I could turn my streams into something like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> That's what I mean. And now everyone's just quoting. Uh, <laughs> smash mouth in the freaking chat. <laughs> sounds good. Okay, good, 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 good. All the sounds good. Uh, Cameron says, I need to watch the Shrek movies again. I remember liking all of them apart from Shrek 3. Confession time. I like Shrek 3. <laughs> I like it, and I've considered doing a, an editorial explaining why I think it's not that bad. Like, I get people's complaints about it but i think there's some stuff there that uh, that's pretty good um yeah <laughs> so uh pitchforks ready everyone <laughs> uh da, 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 da. sounds fine social shock daddy i've been learning japanese oh sweet good definitely good luck there i hear it's a very tough language to learn uh bevan what is the best lego movie that you've seen um hmm I don't know because it's been a while since I've seen the seen the Lego Movie and Lego Batman Movie. So, but off the top of my head, I remember enjoying Lego Batman Movie the most. Probably, I don't know. Um, da 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 da. da. Lots of lots of curiosity. Lots of everyone being curious about my Shrek the Third idea. Okay, I might get round to it. I, I I do want to do some Shrek videos for um the 20th anniversary, uh, which I think is in June. So I'll definitely consider doing like a Shrek the Third defense video. Um, but I'll be the main thing I want to do for Shrek's 20th anniversary is a video about how the first Shrek movie explores um the theme of solitude. I wanted to do that last year, but I didn't get time. So this gives an opportunity to actually do it. Um. Nick, did you hear Falcon Winter Shoulder? Uh, shoulder Winter Shoulder. <laughs> just makes me imagine the Falcons just dealing with really bad dandruff. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Right, we got a lot of chatting going off, and I should definitely set the. Str I should definitely get the quiz going very soon because I don't like to keep people waiting. Um... Where am I in the chat? Uh, Bevan, Shrek 4 has too many marketing puns. It rips off It's a Wonderful Life. It's not exactly shy about it being... I wouldn't say so. I think the word rip-off is used a bit too much and a bit too easily. Because, like, Shrek 4 doesn't hide the fact that it is basically a remake of It's It's a Wonderful Life. And I think that film is in the public domain. So it's it's free for all. So, yeah, but I don't really mind that. But Shrek 4 I, is the one I enjoy the least. It really... I think it's... I think it's the probably probably the most mean spirited out of the four. Yeah, um, Cameron. Maybe if I watch three again, my opinion might change. It, it might. I don't know. The stuff that I like about it is is kind of personal to me. Um, as you know, I'm I'm very paternal, and that film is very much about responsibility and fatherhood. So those are the things that I really click with. Um, but 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 Bevan, I'm learning Hungarian French. Oh, good luck. D -d -d uh, social rock study. The main hard thing about Japanese is kanji. Ooh, so I hear. So I hear. Uh, Cameron, I had Shrek 2 on GameCube and Shrek Slu Super Slam. I don't remember any of the Shrek ever playing the Shrek games. What I do... Oh, a memory's come back. So what you can do, I don't know if you can still do it, but if you put the, sh if you put the first Shrek in your computer, 
Um, it brings up a software where you can dub over scenes from Shrek. <laughs> and me and my brother, one of our favorite hobbies was just dubbing over stuff. We loved to dub things. Um, and we'd put on, put the TV on mute and just put our voices over. And when we found the software, we were like, oh. <laughs> so we spent ages just, just doing stupid ass dubs of the first Shrek film. <laughs> Uh, so she York's daddy Shrek Super Slam was a strange one. I'm not sure how I feel about it retroactively. I heard that what isn't that one that's supposed to be like really bad, like like it, it's got again no to write for being bad. I can't remember what it was called. Something of a picnic or a treasure hunt or something. I heard that one's really bad. Uh duh, duh, duh. Zelda, do you like the Z uh, Zelda franchise? <laughs> Zelda asking me about Zelda. Okay, so I've only played one Zelda game. I played um, Ocarina of Time on my brother's N64. I don't remember getting very far at it, though. And I usually just watch my brother play it. But I remember really enjoying Ocarina of Time. And, and as, a, as a kid who loved horror, I was like, whoa, there's a contrast between like these different timelines that really creeps me out. So I really liked that. But my brother was better at it than me. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Bevan, I feel paternal too and look, would love to get married and have at least one kid one day. Good luck with that and I hope you get what you want. I remember you talking about this in your top five best and worst Pixar movies in the Finding Nemo part. Yeah, I, good luck on your end as well, on your live stream. Hope you can achieve it. I really do. Really do. Um, yeah, Finding Nemo is an, another film that I just clicks with me because of my paternal side. <laughs> And that's the thing, you might notice sometimes on my Twitter, I'll, I'll start tweeting saying, like, I'm watching another dad movie. <laughs> I've watched so many dad films. Like, I can watch, I can I can put aside how bad a film is if it's if it's about fatherhood. <laughs> the films I've I've gotten through, <laughs> just because it, 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 it clicks me in that way. Uh, Otis Fan, it was a Shrek game where the title screen shows him picking his earwax. Ew, that is kind of gross. Uh, computer guy, Shrek Game Land Activity Center, if that's the one I just found it. Um, I, I, like I said, the only one I've heard of is uh, that treasure hunt one. So, she talks daddy, do you want to have a kid one day? I do, I really do. I'm not sure how many, um, but I'm not gonna yet. I want to become a full time YouTuber, I want to work from home so that I can give my kids the attention they deserve and need, um, while being able to balance a way to make income. I don't want to become a father while working for a company. I don't. I, I don't I don't want that for my kid. I really don't. I'd, I'd like to have the freedom to like, whenever my kid needs me, I'm right there. I want to do that. Um, yes, it does explain why a goof movie is one of my favorite films ever. <laughs> it really does. I uh, should definitely get the quiz going soon, folks. It's, I, I, think we're, I think it's been like 10 minutes or so since I started the stream. Uh, so Japanese scary stories are awesome. The Slick, Mouth Woman, and Teke Teke. Uh, yeah, the, 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 I love Japanese horror folklore. It's really fascinating. Most Asian horror folklore is terrifying, and I love it. Um, Saint Vasu, happy St. Patrick's Day from America. Happy St. Patrick's Day from England. And I, I have I have an Irish surname, but I'm not Irish. Someone else is also asking about Toy Story 4. Like I've said, I'll get to it one day. I'm not saying my opinion now because I'm still I'm still on the fence. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do the quiz. Oh, Bethan Borges, I can't believe you're older than Film Brain. Sometimes you look younger. Yes, I'm older than Film Brain. I'm older than a lot of people, uh, <laughs> surprisingly. And when I shave, I look even younger. Uh, like yeah, you name you name most most YouTubers. I'm probably older than them. It's proper, proper surreal with my. Uh, with my pull rod syndrome. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> this is turning into a Q and A. <laughs> Boom! Right. Okay. So I need to get up the quiz before anything. And so anyone that is new to my quiz streams, you need to click the quiz kit logo on the side of chat. What I usually do is I scroll my mouse over to the stream and the quiz kit logo kind of like pops up. Uh, then you click allow access and grant permission. So take your time to do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush people. Mm. 
The quiz, the quiz is on Shrek, by the way, folks. Someone's asking what the quiz is on. It's on Shrek, the Shrek movies. I thought it would say the title on the stream. But yeah, this is Shrek. Is everyone confident when it comes to this topic? <laughs> it's been pretty difficult coming up with questions, I'll admit that. <laughs> Especially when it's been a while since I've watched most of them. Um, there's going to be 10 easy questions, 10 medium questions, and 10 hard questions. What's this fact? You were older than Animal and younger than Chris Duckman. Yeah, Chris Chris has got a bit of a baby face himself as well, to be fair. <laughs> You're confident. Awesome. The fun here's the funny thing as well though. Um I, I as I have a baby face, right? My brother is two years younger. And people mistake him for being the older brother. They always have. And it's hilarious. I remember when friends came over. And um, they'd seen my brother like just wander into the room. And they'd be like, oh, is, is, that your, is that your big brother? And I'm like, younger. And they just turned to be like, whoa. <laughs> I, have a, uh, I do have a sister, Bevan. I have a, an, uh, an older stepsister who lives in Eastbourne. Um, and she has three kids. Uh, I became an uncle when I was seven years old. Yeah, <laughs> it was really weird. Like my mum, my mum um, came to put me up, pick me up after school and said, "You're an uncle." <laughs> uh, right, let's get the quiz rolling. Start quiz. View instruction image. Right, everyone's gonna get like an instruction image that should teach you what to be ready for. Okay, three, two, one, let's go! Okay, question one. Which vegetable does Shrek compare ogres to? Spinach, onions, broccoli, or lettuce? Question one. Which vegetable does Shrek compare ogres to? Spinach, onions, broccoli, or lettuce? Which one is it? You've definitely got to be, um, definitely got to be a Shrek fan to get this one. It's like the spirit of Shrek. <laughs> The answer is onions. You all got that correct. Well done. Off to a good start. <laughs> parfait, yeah. I don't. I think I tried parfait. I swear I tried some parfait once, and I can't remember. Uh, but I don't know if it lived up to uh, Donkey's hype. Question two. In Shrek 2, what is the name of the potion that Shrek takes to make himself human? Forever human, it's all ogre now, happily ever after, or magically handsome? So question two. In Shrek 2, what is the name of the potion that Shrek takes? takes to make himself human forever human it's all ogre now happily ever after or magically handsome which one is it and the answer is happily ever after most of you got that correct well done whoa 20 viewers whoa i did not see that <laughs> we've got 20 viewers that's that's quite big for my streams uh, da, 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 da. Question three coming up. So yeah, the answer to question two is happily ever after. Question three. It's all ogre now. Uh, question three. Which fairy tale character takes over the kingdom in Shrek the Third? Fairy Godmother, Prince Charming, Captain Hook, or Rumpelstiltskin? Question three. Which fairy tale character takes over the kingdom in Shrek the Third? Fairy Fairy Godmother, Prince Charming, Captain Hook, or Rumpelstiltskin? And I can I can give a fun fact for this one as well. So the answer was Prince Charming. Did you know that Rupert Everett, the British actor who plays Prince Charming, he originally auditioned for Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. This is Beauty and the Beast. And so when he did the, when he auditioned for this role, he realised, oh, I, if I'm going to get the role this time, I have to be more arrogant. <laughs> Just a little fun fact I found while researching. <laughs> Question four: In Shrek Forever, Forever After, what is the Shrek? What is Shrek asked to do at his kids? At his kid's birthday party, by an annoying little boy. Raw, eat the whole birthday cake, break dance, or karate chop. So, question four in Shrek Forever After. What is Shrek asked to do at his kid's party by an annoying little boy? Raw, eat the whole birthday cake, break dance, or karate chop. Which one? The answer is Raw. You all got that correct. I, I get the feeling that, um, like always, everyone's ever is going to be like, everyone's going to go for one answer. At the easy stage, the medium is going to start. Everyone's going to start to space out, and then the hard is going to be like, "Well, 
there was like, don't know, just guessing. Okay, so the answer was Raw for question four. Question five in Shrek, which fairy tale character gives uh, princess dating options for Lord Farquhar? The Three Pigs, Magic Mirror, Gingerbread Man, or Big Bad Wolf? So question five in Shrek, which fairy tale, fairy tale character gives princess dating options for Lord Farquhar? Three Pigs, Magic Mirror, Gingerbread Man, or Big Bad Wolf? The memes are kicking in. They should do. <laughs> so, the answer was a magic mirror. And you got that correct. Well done. Question six. Wait, so computer gas says Farquad, who was a caricature of someone Katzenberg didn't like, in case there is a question about it. Well, Katzenberg was like... <laughs> didn't like anyone so <laughs> it could be anyone uh so yeah question five answer was magic mirror uh question six howdy ralston zero uh eight nine eight first time here good luck so question six in shrek two what who does the king hide to assassinate shrek humpty dumpty baba yaga puss in boots or the huntsman Question six: Who did who did the king hire to assassinate Shrek? The answer was Puss in Boots. Okay, so question seven coming up. The answer was Puss in Boots. <laughs> John Cena. Don't know where that came from. But okay. <laughs> so question seven in the first Shrek: Which band performs All Star and I'm a Believer for the movie soundtrack? Foo Fighters, Smash Mouth, Nickelback, or Sum 41? Uh, please, uh, Ralston, so I know you're new to quizzes, but please do not put your answers in the chat because people have come here were wanting a bit of a challenge. So if you want to join the quiz, you basically scroll your mouse over to the stream and you should see a QuizKit logo on the side of chat. Click allow access and grant permission. Again, please do not put your answers in the chat. Um, so yeah, so question seven, in the first Shrek, which band performs All Star and I believe for the movie soundtrack? The answer was Smash Mouth. You all got that correct. Well done. Fantastic. It was Michael Eisner. Of course it was Michael Eisner. <laughs> of course it was Michael Eisner. If you've seen Waking Sleeping Beauty, then Michael Eisner is a really obvious thing. One you'd definitely go for. Oh, wow. <laughs> but Eisner is not, not even that short. So that's a really weird... Thing. Yeah, that's... thank you for following uh, Mario Max Mex. That's a cool name. Um, so yeah, the answer for uh, seven was Smash Mouth. Uh, question eight in Shrek Forever After: What is the name of the Ogre's Rebellion chef? Cookie, Krusty, Cakey, or Crispy? So question eight in Shrek Forever After, what is the name of the Ogre's Rebellion chef? Cookie, Krusty, Cakey, or Crispy? The answer was Cookie. Most of you went for that and someone went for Krusty. Question nine coming up. Any second now? Question 9. In Shrek, which British folklore legend attacks Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey? spring Jack, Robin Hood, uh, the Lincoln Imp, or the Green Man? So, question 9. In Shrek, which British folklore legend attacks Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey? spring Jack, Robin Hood, the Lincoln Imp, or the Green Man? But to be fair, keep in mind, it's the French. It's like, it, they, they say it's a French parody <laughs> to avoid offending British people. <laughs> Apparently, people were kind of annoyed that Robin Hood was like... Oh, yeah, so the answer is Robin Hood. People were annoyed that Robin Hood was, like, depicted as a villain. <laughs> it was like, no, it's a French parody! <laughs> so, yeah, question nine's answer was Robin Hood. Question ten coming up. Question ten in Shrek 2. King Harold is revealed to be an animal that's been turned human, but which animal? Monkey, squirrel, chameleon, or frog? So question 10, in Shrek 2, King Harold is revealed to be an animal that's been turned human, but which animal, monkey, squirrel, chameleon, or frog?
Oh, computer guy. Uh, no, that's what I said. Eisner is a big dude, and he often mock. Oh, sorry, I misread what you said. Often mocked Katzenberg, who, in contrast, isn't very big. So of course, Katzenberg would make his parody ridiculously small out of spite. Still weird. <laughs> still, still a weird direction. If you're gonna. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> still a bit weird. Like, if you're gonna go for Eisner, there's there's, there's other things he could have mocked. <laughs> I get, I get the motive, I get the motive, but it's still weird. Um, so yeah, question 10, the answer was frog. Duh, 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 duh. Question 11 coming up. And that, we're on the medium stage now. Question 11 means the beginning of the medium stage. So question 11, in Shrek the Third, what is the name of Artie's school? The War Sester... Uh, Worcester Shire Academy, the Shropshire Hall, or the Yorkshire School, or the Lincolnshire College. Yeah, Shrek was created out to revenge. To Disney by Katzenberg. Okay, and the answer was the Worcester Shire Academy. Question 12. Question 12, question, question 12, when it loads. Question 12, in Shrek, what was the name of Lord Farquaad's executioner? Scalonius, Titanus, Deficus, or Felonius? So in Shrek, what was the name of Lord Farquaad's executioner? Scalonius, Titanus, Deficus, or Felonius? Yeah, I saw about, I uh, said, camera was saying that, um, Anger Video Game Nerds done a review of the Shrek Game Boy game. Been mean to see that. And the answer is Felonius. Congrats to everyone that went for that one. Question 13 coming up. Pick number three, my lord! <laughs> Question 13. In Shrek 2, what happens to the mermaid who kisses Shrek? She gets stung by a jellyfish, she gets eaten by sharks, she's caught by fishermen, she dies while flapping about on land. So which one? What happens to the mermaid? This is like the big, like the opening to Shrek. Accidentally in love. Yep. So the answer was she gets eaten by sharks. Most went for it, but a couple went for flapping on land <laughs> and getting stung by a jellyfish. I've been stung by a jellyfish. Has anyone else been stung by a jellyfish? <laughs> uh, question 13. Uh, 14. 14, sorry. So question 14. How many babies do Dragon and Donkey end up having? 3, 10, 5, or 7? Question 14. You don't, yeah, basically, Fiona throws her back and then she gets eaten by sharks. So question 14, how many babies do Dragon and Donkey end up having? 3, 10, 5, 7. Trust me, I, I re-watched that scene to make sure. So, question fifth, yeah, question 14, the answer was 5. A little bit of a mixed response. It's a very, it's a very quick moment. It's very, very quick. It's why it's on the medium level. Uh, so yeah, question fourteen answer was five. Question fifteen, you've been stung by a wasp on your feet. Ow! I can feel that. I'm so sorry. Ow. Uh, question fifteen in Shrek Forever After, what does Rumpelstiltskin keep changing depending on his mood and what he has to do? Stockings, shoes, wigs, or socks? So question fifteen in Shrek Forever After, what does Rumpelstiltskin keep changing depending on his mood and what he has to do? Stockings, shoes, wigs, or socks? Which one? The answer is wigs. A lot of you went for that one. A couple went for uh, socks and shoes. Which might I can imagine changing socks whenever you're changing mood being a nightmare because you've got to take shoes off first and <laughs> wigs are easier. Da, da, da. Camera, I've been stung by a bee on my finger. Ah! I remember getting a bl I remember getting a blister on my thumb when I was on holiday in Greece. One night I just woke up and I just felt like a we something weird on my thumb. And like, I turned on the light, it was like a massive ass blister, like friggin' huge. I had to go to a Greek doctor. Okay, so question 16. Uh, so she looks daddy, Rumpelstiltskin looks different in three and four. Yeah, he does, yeah. 
Uh, so question 6.8, what is the name of Lord Farquaad? City, Jewelbury, Double Rock, Dewlock, or Dunkington? Oh, don't misclick. Careful. <laughs> Cameron, when I was younger, I stepped on a needle while at the swimming pool at the age of six. Oh, oh, God. That, that, uh, that's, that's, that was one of my childhood fears. That was a horrible childhood, childhood fear I had. Uh, so question 16 is the answer was Dulog. So yeah, when I was at school um, They put on a play a really weird play like this these actors came in and did like this big play in front of the school And it looked it was really silly and funny and like ha ha and then at the end of it The actors turned to us and was like so kids. Do you know what that play meant? And we're like no, and it was and he was like it meant drugs <laughs> And if you go to your park, be careful not to step on any, needle, any needles. I was traumatized. I was like, I trusted you, actors. <laughs> so, yeah. Question 16's answer was Dulok. Question 17. In Shrek 2, how do you summon the fairy godmother? Cry a teardrop, say her name three times, do a silly dance, or sacrifice a goblin? So, question 17. In Shrek 2, how do you summon the fairy godmother? Cry a teardrop, say her name three times, do a silly dance, or sacrifice a goblin? Uh, computer guy for the oh sorry. So the answer was cry a teardrop drop. Most of you went for that one. Congrats. The face I made 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 you shiver. Trust me, I could do some really creepy faces. <laughs> I could do faces that make people have nightmares. Uh, so, question 18 in Shrek the Third, which fantasy character helped Shrek and his friends get back to Far, Far Away? Gandalf, Yen Sid, Merlin, or Glinda the Good Witch? So, question 18 in Shrek the Third, which fantasy character helped Shrek and his friends get back to Far, Far Away? Gandalf, Yen Sid, Merlin, or Glinda the Good Witch? Please don't put answers in the chat. If you want to join the quiz, click the quiz kit logo at the side of chat and then click allow access to grant permission. Okay, and the answer was Merlin. I can show you creep. If you want creepy faces, I can do this. I can turn my um, my eyes back in my head. Why? <laughs> Been doing. <laughs> I've been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> So yeah, the answer was Merlin. <laughs> so question 19. In Shrek Forever After, where is the birthday party for Shrek's kids being held? The, sh the light's too bright to see. I'll do it again one second. So yeah, was it the Muffin's Ma Muffin Man's house, Excalibur, Magic Carpet, or the Poison Apple? Wait. You can see it now. If I get, If I go a bit backwards... <laughs> so the answer was the poison apple yes the same place the villains uh hanged out that was the same place shrek's <laughs> shrek's uh kids had the birthday party on to question 20 we're on to the f of the hard level now i can also do this wait <laughs> Uh, so question 20 in the first Shrek. What was the stinky smell that donkey noticed when our heroes arrived at the castle decaying corpses rotting eggs Limburger cheese or burning brimstone? <laughs> Camera I always had worries who do that with their eyes. What if they got stuck like that? Oh duh <laughs> Making me not want to do it again <laughs> Okay, so the answer was burning brimstone Bit of a mix, but most went for Burning Brimstone. D -d 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 -d. Question 21. Question 21. Which DreamWorks animation staff member provides the voice of Rumpelstiltskin in Shrek Forever After? Conrad Vernon, Chris Sanders, Walt Dawn, or Mike Mitchell. So question 21, which DreamWorks animation staff member provides the voices, voices, voice of Rumpelstiltskin in Shrek Forever After? Conrad Vernon, Chris Sanders, Walt Dawn, or Mike Mitchell? Rustin, what are your thoughts on Space Jam 2 and Paw Patrol the movie? Just curious. Space Jam 2, not that hyped anymore. 
Oh, well, it wasn't hyped in the first place, but like I'm less I'm less interested even more after learning more about it. Paw Patrol movie, meh, whatever. Don't really watch Paw Patrol. The answer was Walt Dawn, but that was a really mixed response. <laughs> Very mixed. Most went for Chris Sanders. D -d 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 question 22. Question 22, are you going to arrive anytime? Question 22, uh, which Shrek movie has won an Academy Award Oscar? Shrek, Shrek 2, Shrek Forever After, or Shrek the Third? So which Shrek movie has won an Academy Award Oscar? Shrek, Shrek 2, Shrek Forever After, or Shrek the Third? Camera, I'm okay with questions about the movie itself. When it comes to questions about the voices and creators, I'm not uh, as good with. No worries, the best you could do is guess. <laughs> I tried to make my, my um, last round about the behind the scenes. So the answer was Shrek. Ooh, a bit of a divide. Um, so yeah, Shrek was the only one that actually won the Oscar. Shrek 2 got nominated for an Oscar. As far as I researched. Uh, so yeah, question 23. Question 23, which of the following is not a Shrek spin-off short? Far Far Away Idol, Magic Mirror Television, The Pick Who Cried Werewolf, or Thriller Night? So question 23, which of the following is not a Shrek spin-off short? Far Far Away Idol, Magic Mirror Television, The Pig Who Cried Werewolf, or Thriller Night? A bit, a bit low, aren't I? A bit higher. Da, 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 da. The answer was Magic Mirror Television. A lot of you went for that one. A couple went for Pig Who Cried Werewolf and Thriller Night. Those are th th those are pretty hard to find, actually, if I'm honest. <laughs> but Magic Mirror Television is one I made up. Uh, question 24. Question 24. What was the official US release date for the first Shrek movie? March the 19th, 2002. May the 18th, 2001. June the 15th, 2001. September the 13th, 2002. So... Uh, question 24, what was the official US release date for the first Shrek movie? March the 19th, 2002, May the 18th, 2001, June the 15th, 2001, or September the 13th, 2002? Uh, Cameron, remember the, when Simon Cowell voiced himself in Shrek? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, and I've, he's, he's always creepy. He was always creepy looking whenever he's animated in something. And he's a terrible actor as well, which doesn't help. <laughs> There's a Simpsons episode where he plays a parody of himself called Henry. And then there's another Simpsons episode where he plays Simon Cowell. It's really freaking weird. Do So yeah, question 24. The answer was May the 18th, 2001. But most went for June 15th, 2001. I'm to ace. 2001 is the year you were born. Interesting. I was born maybe 11 years before that. <laughs> Question 25. Andrew Adamson co-directed the first two Shrek movies, but which franchise did he go on to direct after? X-Men, Planet of the Apes, Pirates of the Caribbean, or Chronicles of Narnia? So, question 25. Andrew Adamson co-directed the first two Shrek movies, but which franchise did he go on to direct after? X-Men, Planet of the Apes, Pirates of the Caribbean, or Chronicles of Narnia? I'm seeing that Listy Rimsey's probably the old, oldest one here. And you've given clues before. <laughs> um, so the answer is Chronicles of Narnia. Bit of a mixed response for that one. Do, 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 do. Question 26. Do, do, do. Question 26 coming up. Any second? Any minute? Any year? Question 26. Which year did Jeffrey Katzenberg start active development on the first Shrek? 1999, 1997, 1995, or 2000? So question 26, which year did Jeffrey Katzenberg start active development on the first Shrek? 1999, 1997, 1995, or 2001? Oh no, 2000, sorry. <laughs> 2000. So which one was it? When did he start developing Shrek? The act is very mixed, very mixed. <laughs> Most went for 1999. It's actually 1995. Yes, uh, the film was in development for quite some time before it got released. Before it got anywhere, really. It's got it's got a massive history. Uh, so yeah, the, the answer was 1995. 
Uh, question 27. Who was originally attached to voice Princess F Princess Fiona before being fined? Here we go. The history of the first rank. Was it Phoebe Cates, Jennifer Connolly, Janine Garofalo, or Sandra Bullock? So question 27. Who was originally attached to voice Princess Fiona before being fined? Phoebe Cates, Jennifer Connolly, Janine Garofalo, or Sandra Bullock? Good, that's a good observation. You, you, that was a very good observation, Megabird. Had to be sometime around 1997 since Chris father recorded his life for Shrink before, before uh, for Shrink before passing. It's a good observation. So, and the answer is Jareen Garofalo, but only one went for it. <laughs> Most went for Sandra Bullock. It does take, it can take up to four to six years to make an animated film, but sometimes a film can be in development hell which means that it just takes way longer than than planned like some films can take up to like 10 to 20 years uh, the, then you've got things like the thief and the couple which took 60 years so yeah like th there's there's a typical timeline but like you never know you never know because animation can some sometimes things can go wrong behind the scenes uh, da -da 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 -da. Question 28. Which the following is a song from the Broadway production of Shrek the Musical? Donkey's lull Lullaby, What's Up, Duloc, This is My Swamp, The Layers of Onions. The King King of Mockingbird is a good example of a long timeline as well, yeah. So question 28. Which of the following is a song from the Broadway production of Shrek the Musical? Donkey's Lullaby, What's Up, Duloc, This is My Swamp, or The Layers of Onions? The answer is, What's Up, Duloc? And no one clicked it. <laughs> I think that's probably a first. Everyone from This Is My Swamp, a song I made up. <laughs> Question 29. We're almost at the end of the quiz, folks. Question 29. Which Shrek movie had the biggest budget? Shrek Forever After, Shrek 2, Shrek, or Shrek the Third? So, question 29. Which Shrek movie had the biggest budget? Shrek Forever After, Shrek 2, Shrek, or Shrek the Third? You've heard bad things about that musical. Ooh. I've seen clips. It does. I think the only thing I noticed about it that was a bit off was it looks. It looks very cheap for a Broadway production. So yeah, the uh, which Shrek movie had the big, biggest budget? The answer was Shrek Forever After. Very mixed response, and no one went for the first Shrek. I think you can tell the budget by looking at it. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, Shrek Forever After was the most expensive Shrek movie. To date. You never know how much Shrek 5 is going to cost. Uh, question 30. Last question. Shrek's name is actually Yiddish for which word? Toast, fright, green, or swamp? So question 30. Shrek's, Shrek's name is actually Yiddish for which word? Uh, toast, fright, green, or swamp? How well do you know, do you know your Yiddish? Hmm? And the answer is fright. Loads of you got that correct. Well done. Okay, we're going to get the final results any second now. The quiz is ogre. <laughs> okay, here comes the final results. Who is the winner? The winner is... Bevan Borges, well done in first place. And in second place is Listy Rimsey. In third place is Contestant 8. In fourth place is Megabird. In fifth place is Social York Socialist Yorkshire Daddy. In sixth place is Amtu Ace. In seventh place is The Cowgirl. In eighth place is Autistic Fan. In ninth place is Computer Guy. So well done to Bevan Borges. Congrats for being the biggest Shrek expert in this stream. Well done. Number one winner. <laughs> Listy Rimsy says Shrek in place. You deserve first place just for saying that. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, dang. So, yeah, well, what's interesting about the results this time is that no one has minus. <laughs> Sometimes the, there's someone with, with like minus, and no one's got minus, so a lot of people did really well, so well done. Uh, before I set off to carry on with my video on the Mighty Kong, uh, does anyone have any suggestions for the poll for next week's quiz? 
Cameron, what are your thoughts on the Madagascar trilogy? That's a movie I need to watch again. Uh, I like the f I, I, I don't like the first one. I think the second one's okay. Pretty enjoyed the uh, third one. Don't do Batman next. I'm always going to nominate Batman. I really want to do a Batman quiz. That'll, that, that'll motivate my um, my thumbnail artist to come join the quiz. <laughs> Futurama, yeah. I want, I want it. I want never wins. It never wins. I want Futurama to win. I want to do a Futurama quiz. But if I do a Futurama quiz, it's probably going to be like 100 questions long just because I know so much Futurama stuff. <laughs> Loud House or Kung Fu Panda? Nah, I don't really watch Loud House. Kung Fu Panda, we're getting a lot of Kung Fu Pandas. Uh, da, da, da. Lord of Rings, yeah, I'm going to nominate that. Toy Story films, oh yeah, maybe. Interesting. Nickelodeon, okay. Nickelodeon's maybe a bit too broad, because there's so many generations of Nickelodeon. Because like, I'm more acquainted with like 90s Nickelodeon. The Godzilla franchise, I don't know, because, it, again, it's, it's too broad. There's too many. I've not seen them all. Like, if it's just one Godzilla movie, sure. But I don't know how many questions you get out of one Godzilla movie. Cartoon Network programs. Uh, da, da, da. Well, I get, well, you say five votes for Kung Fu Panda. <coughs> you say five votes for Kung Fu Panda, but, like, the poll's going to be launched um, on Google Forms. Um... Avatar Last Airbender. Oh, interesting. That would be interesting, actually, yeah. Ladies and Tramps, Sonic. I don't know enough Sonic, if I'm honest. Okay, I've got I've got an idea what people are suggesting. But yeah, I should definitely head off, folks. This stream will be archived to my Highlights channel. I really appreciate people would subscribe to my Highlights channel. So that's uh, youtube.com slash highlights. I think. No, it's not. I don't think I've got the official URL for that yet. But if you just search Jambariki Highlights, you can find it. It has all my newest streams archived to it. So that'd be really, really cool.